All right, Austin, uh, let's go to a couple more of the topics. Uh, Wilder Fury, Trilogy match. They had their press conference this week. Yeah, man. You know, big fight, a lot of controversy in both their first two fights. Man, what's your outlook about this trilogy? And, you know, Wilder the American. Yeah. What, what would you tell him? What would you advise him going into this fight? So this is going to be, you know, the biggest fight. This is on the, the Frazier, at least, you know, level in my opinion. Especially because of how the heavyweights kind of fell off, and then they came back in a big way. You know, Joshua Fury, Wilder, Dylan White, you know. Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz. Some big boys. Uh, yeah, big boys that all can fight. And uh, when heavyweights are doing good, boxing does good. So no pressure, Wilder, but like y'all need to keep this shit up so that way all of us can come up. You know, like, we're on your back. Um, I think his the work for him and Malik it looks like it's working. You know, he's he's looking explosive. He's looking crisp. He's looking like technically sound, right? Which I feel like is been, was a problem with Wilder. I think Wilder got away, which is being strong for a long time, right? And that can only take you so far, especially when you're gonna fight this big old 6'10", 300 pound, uh, elusive, agile fighter like Fury. Now Wilder, that first fight, he did good. It was, it was a close fight, it was, you know, but I think what, from the first fight, Fury figured out, I took his best, I'm just gonna take it to him. So, what is Wilder gonna do different now, right? Fury, I think he's probably just gonna take it to him again. Wilder looks like he's been working on his jab, on his sidestep, working on setting up the big shots that are just looking He's got a probe for the right hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I think Malik's doing great work. Malik Scott's a very smart boxing guy. And I, I know he, he just broke Tyson Fury all the way down. Um, but Tyson, too, he's a very smart, high IQ boxing guy. And, and I think whatever changes Wilder does, he's going to have to capitalize on quick because Fury's going to make his adjustments quick, too. Most definitely. But you, so you, it sounds like you're giving uh, Fury the slight edge in that fight. I'm always going for the American, baby. Oh, no doubt. So I'm going with Wilder. Let's right? go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Last thing, last topic. Uh, Pacquiao gonna fight Spence, man. You gotta commend Pacquiao for stepping in with these young, hungry champions, hey, man. man. What do you think about that fight? Talk about legacy for both of them. You know, Pacquiao's like, ah, no, nah, I want him. You know what I'm saying? And Spence. Off a two year layoff, yeah, too. Yeah, off a two year layoff, man. Shout out to Pacquiao. He showed him, show him how to do it, how to fight with heart. And Spence, too, he, he had a, an okay fight against Danny, but that was right after his, his crash, right? I don't know why I wouldn't have fought after a crash like that. You know what I'm saying? He said he was like 75, 80% too in that yeah, fight. Yeah, it looked so. like it. It looked like it. And, and it was like, wow, ah, he looked, but bro, he was just like, wasn't he in a coma for a little bit? Yeah. He was, yeah, okay. Lost all his teeth. <laughs> and now he's back fighting the Danny Garcia. Yeah. There's no slouch. There's no slouch. No yeah. slouch. But Danny Garcia is no Pacquiao. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Styles make fights. Hopefully Arrow was like at 65, 70 percent. Like because he's gonna have to turn up. Absolutely, he's gonna have to be on all. I mean, Pacquiao's just gonna keep coming. But Arrow is very strong. Um, Pacquiao's chin isn't the greatest, but he's just gotta catch him. I, I'm I'm going with Arrow. I'm going with the youth because you never know. You never know when Pacquiao's gonna get old. And again, two year layoff. That that shit hurts. So you got Arrow. You think it goes the distance? That's the I real got, question, I got, right? I got arrow late stoppage, man. Oh, okay. Breaking him down, catching him. Because he does very well. He breaks him down. He'll lose the first four or five rounds, you know what I mean? Because of Pacquiao's quickness, right? Quickness. And, and His reflexes. He just, like with the Kell Brook fight, they, looking at back at Kell Brook and Arrow, Kell Brook was, you know, faster, kind of in and out. He was outpointing him. And he was outpointing him, and then Arrow just, just kept breaking him down, breaking, breaking him down until his eye went out. Most definitely. I appreciate you, Austin, man. Yeah. Ain't no news on, on yourself and, and getting yeah, back man, in the ring? Yeah, I got a multi-fight deal in Dubai starting oh, at the end of next month. So we're so. we training for that. Get ready uh, to just make another comeback. I want another belt or cool. another title shot. That's right. <laughs> man, you've been in the game, man. Mad respect for you. What did you make of, uh, last thing, just random topic, uh, Clarissa Shields going to MMA and making Bro, that happen? She, she, she put one on for the boxing. Yeah, I was, I was very happy to see that because... And she was, it was a tough fight. That girl was, she had to weather she the storm. She was like the first two rounds. And then that third round, she, <laughs> hey, she, she made me so happy to watch that happen. 
I am not that. I'm trying to jump over into the MMA. I'm not crazy like that. I'll stick to my safe sport of boxing. I just watch the MMA. But, you know, a lot of people was giving boxing slack about, you know, MMA's going to beat the boxer. And Chris is like, she went in there. Let me show y'all what a sprawl and some hands could do. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you make of her saying on Stephen A. Smith's show that MMA training is tougher than boxing training? Probably. Just because of the different aspects she's oh, got to yeah, incorporate. Probably. You know, we have to deal with just one style. You know, and this many styles in that style, but they gotta, you know, they do the their striking, then they have to go do their rolling, then they gotta go do their jujitsu, and then they gotta, you know, get their running somewhere. And, and yeah, I, I I see that. <laughs> hey, she's badass. I see that. Man. She is. She is. My dog. Tattoo, Appreciate you. Yes, sir.